Okay, so we're on page 36 and 37, and we're going to start graphing from slope-intercept form. I'm going to let you read the explain to A part, because I think they do a pretty good job of it. So, um, we are just going to jump into the first problem here, where we have this equation. Let's take a look at the equation first, and then we'll graph it afterwards. But with the equation here, and this is a slope, right? It's in slope-intercept form, so... This is the slope, and this is the y-intercept, hence the name slope, slope intercept form, okay? So let me actually uh, get rid of all that so we can clear that out. So let's take a look at the slope first. We have a slope of, sorry, we have a slope of 3 over 5. And what that means as a slope is that this is going to be our rise, or how much we go up or down is positive, so we're going to go up. And this is going to be our run, which means how much we go to the right. So from point to point, we are going to go up three and to the right five units. We'll see what that means in a second. This right here, the negative four, is our starting point. This is our y-intercept. Okay? So let's, let's see what that looks like on a graph. So um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So... Like I said, negative 4 is going to be our y-intercept, our starting point, so I'm going to put a dot right there. And then, um, let me see, let me rewrite this real quick. Um, y equals 3 over 5, x minus 4, so it's the same equation. I'm going to zoom in just so it's a little easier to see. And like I said, this is our starting point, negative 4, and then this is our slope. So like I said, the, the numerator tells us how many units we're going to go up. The denominator tells us how many units we're going to go to the right from point to point. So starting from our starting point at um, negative 4, we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our next point is right there. And from there, if we wanted to add another point, we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our next point is right there. And so if we drew a line basically through those points, all right? And I'm going to extend it a little bit. Uh, this is basically what our line is going to look like, right? This is a line of that graph where that's our y-intercept, 0, comma, negative 4. And we're going to go up, um, we're going to go up 3 units and t to the right 5 units. That's a little hard to see, so let me actually change the color there, uh, those things there. Uh, let's make those red. Okay, so as you can see, we go up three units and to the right five units. And then the same thing holds true when we move it over, up three and over five, as you can see. Okay, so that's what's happening there. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. Um, now, they're going to take it to the next level. Um, they want you to change this, uh, this equation into slope-intercept form before we graph the line. Because like I said, slope-intercept form helps us to graph um, the line much easier. Okay, So right now, it's not written in this form. We want it to get to this point, where it says y equals mx plus b. Now, maybe pause the video if you want to try to solve this on your own. But um, what do you notice about this equation and this equation that are different? If you pause the video on your back, what you should have noticed is that in this equation, we have the y by itself on the left. Whereas on this equation, that is not true. Not, we don't have the y by itself on the left. We have uh, a little friend here, the 2x. So we've got to get, get rid of this guy. we we got to get rid of that 2x. Now, how do we do that? Well, the relationship between the 2x and the y is one of addition, so we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides, and what we end up with is y equals negative 2x plus 4. And now we have it in this form. Take a look at that, where this is our slope, right? That's our slope, and this is our y-intercept. So we can go ahead and graph this. And uh, we're going to do exactly what we did on the previous page. Um, this right here is going to be our starting point at 4, okay? And then we're going to go, if we rewrite this negative 2, or the slope of negative 2, right, from here. If we rewrite it as a, fun, as, a, as a fraction, right, any whole number can be written over 1, a denominator of 1. This is our rise, and so it's negative, so we're going to go down 2. This is our run, so we're going to go 1 to the right. 
Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to go down two and one to the right. So from our graph here, we're going to go down one, two points, and one to the right. There's the next one. Down two, one to the right. Down two, one to the right. Okay, so I don't feel like I need to make any more points than that. So our graph is going to look something like, let's make it nice and big, something like that. Uh, let's move it over just so we can see that. Um, so there's our graph. And again, uh, let me change the, this color. If we want to see what the slope actually looks like, we go um, down two units. So we went down two units and one to the right. We went down two units, one to the right. Okay, And um, you'll be quite pleased to know that these things can move, right? Down two, one to the right. There's that triangle again, down two, one to the right. So that's what's happening there.